now hello guys uh this is god sent of sent funds and today's video i thought i should share some of my a couple of my experience with you that will actually be of beneficial to you will actually help you to uh, stay focused in your farming experience now either you're into the rabbit farming or you're into the quail farming or you're into the chicken farming or goat farming any of the livestock farming this is an experience that is going to be of utmost uh, benefit to you it is certain that challenges are going to be faced in farming any of the livestock now let me streamline to rabbit farming because i'm talking to my audience right here now it is it is 100 percent certain that you are going to be facing challenges in farming your rabbits sure challenges will certainly come but that doesn't mean you cannot uh um overcome those challenges you just need strong determination and and willingness to succeed in rabbit farming then you will overcome those challenges um challenges might come in different forms uh it could be flooding it could be mortality high mortality rate it could be financial challenges try, uh, finding it difficult to get the finance to run your farm it could be challenges with your caging system it comes in different forms but challenges remains challenges and they must certainly come so either way they come your way you are certainly going to be uh, over overcoming some of them with experience you overcome some of them and outgo some of them but there will be new challenges that you've never seen before that would keep coming your way so just stay focused and always have this in mind that solutions will always come when you stay focused take for example you're having high mortality rates you you're down from uh, from let's say 20 rabbits you're down to about uh, 10 rabbits or five rabbits or two rabbits as the case may be do not be discouraged stay focused stay steadfast you definitely get solution there's certainly one thing you're not getting right and asking questions from uh reputable farmers from your mentor who actually help you overcome those challenges on time and bounce back to um, normal in your farming experience now what the other thing that might occur is that but probably when you're having challenges with your finance and you're thinking of letting go of all your rabbits and hoping that uh, by the time you are back on track with your finance then you're going to restock your rabbits it's a very big mistake it's a trap don't go to that don't go that route guys don't go that route the best thing you want to do in such a situation is to downsize the number of your rabbits to the to the number that you know very well that you can uh, easily take good care of even if it is just two rabbits that you are downsizing to but never make the mistake of uh, letting go of all your rabbits never make that mistake guys never go that route now let me share my experience with you i actually uh had the bitter experience with my dogs I, when i started dog breeding i started uh somewhere around uh i think 2004 2004 2005 i was under the mentorship of uh shout out to uh, mcpherson dog republic here in nigeria i want to check them out for exotic dogs breeds quality dogs that you need you want to import you want to export your dogs they are your shop club now there was a time i finished my uh universities and i had to go for youth service because i was breeding my dogs then in school while i was schooling i was breeding uh, about nine dogs of different breeds so after my 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 graduation i had to go for a one year uh, youth service course and my primary place of uh, assignment they do not allow dogs in the village 
it's actually forbidden in the village so there's no way i can take my dogs alongside with me so i have to uh, uh put someone in charge to take care of the dogs and you all know that there's no way uh there's no way any other person can take care of your property uh, like the way you do no blames to the the guy the person i i left them with i'm not i'm not apportioning any blames to him anyways but one thing led to the other i had to lose all nine dogs within the space of one year guys it was terrible now eh? it was terrible so after the grief and all i was finding it very very difficult to bounce back to dog breeding again it actually took me uh, over two years over two years to get back to dog breeding to start with just one dog that is how long it took me to bounce back and that was because uh my first love when it comes to uh animals will be dogs that is my first love so I think that was what really actually helped me to bounce back, but it took me a very long time to bounce back. Now, I was almost faced with a similar situation when I was having my rabbit. If you know this, this iron cage is new. This other one is new, but uh, this wooden one, which is my pannier cage, and there was one other uh, eight room cage that was here, which I have uh, decommissioned. Then this one here and there's another 12 room cage behind then you have another eight room cage here they were all filled up with rabbits i was not having space i was having over 50 rabbits here a challenge came a health challenge came which i was not uh, grounded in and i had to lose over 52 i think 54 kits within a space of one week yes that didn't deter me Yes, I meant what I said. 54 kits within the space of seven days. That was what I lost here. That was a bitter, what, one of my bitter experience in rabbit farming. Ever since then, my, the, my kit mortality rate has actually dropped to almost zero. Yeah, I barely, I barely have kit mortality ever since then, except it's dead on arrival. It's still dead. Yeah. So... After that experience, then I had to go for a four-month, uh, a four-month uh, dog breeding training with my mentor, my dog breeding mentor, uh, Macpherson Dog Republic, and I was still having a good, a good number of rabbits, close to uh, 20, 20 something rabbits right here. Again, I have to leave them under the care of someone else. To cut the long story short, one thing led to another. Gradually, I was losing rabbits. I was losing them. Uh, it was like every week I would lose an adult rabbit. Then the rabbits, the number came down to about just um, three rabbits. Then I thought to myself, learning from my dog breeding experience, the bad experience I got from my dog breeding, I said no there's no way i'm going to let these three rabbits leave this farm there's no way this farm is going to exist without just even one rabbit so i came back from when i came back from the the training course then i was having actually having the intention of just letting them go because they were actually my very old stock i was not even breeding from them again i was just uh, leaving them there for showcasing because they were very good at that my angora rabbits then those are the species i was just using them for showcasing i was not breeding from them so i said no i'm not going to let this rabbit go i'm going to leave these rabbits here in this farm feed them even if they are not uh, uh reproducing they are still going to be here until i restock a new uh a fresh stock so that actually kept me uh 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 what would i say that that seeing them on a daily actually helped me to to restock quickly i think in less than a month i had already bought 
uh, two adult rabbits. That was what I start. I restarted with with two adult female rabbits. I crossed them where I bought them from because then I was not having uh, the bulk of that species. So I just crossed them there and brought them to my farm. And that that same that same season, they gave me uh, I think um, seven eight or six six and seven kids thereabouts that was what they gave me then i retained two dough the best two doughs from those liters and boom from then on it didn't even take me up to four months before uh, i got back to a very good number of rabbits again so learn that guys learn that whenever you're passing through challenges in your farm and you feel there's a need to take a break from farming your rabbits or farming your quail please and please do not uh, get rid of the whole stock even if the the whole stock is no longer useful to you please and please do not get rid of the whole stock at a time endeavor to retain at least two of the rabbits so that it can help you to stay focused stay um, uh, determined and stay on course in your farming experience uh, these are just a few experience that I, I thought I should share with you definitely you're going to learn one or two things from them and guys don't fall into that trap don't fall into that trap it's it's actually a trap guys it's actually a trap and um i'm not trying to mock anybody a colleague of mine is actually in the same trap as i tell you he's the one i got these stocks from he has very excellent stock but um uh, uh i don't know he had one or two challenges and he's thinking of restocking but he made the mistake of getting rid of all his stock is planning on getting a fresh stock but i've heard that for months and the farm is still empty as we speak so guys please and please do not uh make that mistake so guys as usual i'm god sent of sent farms this is me if you have any experience question drop it in the comment section I'm always there to answer you or you can reach me on whatsapp you can call me any time of the day i'm available to answer your question give you tell you what i know uh, what has worked for me yes that's one thing about me i'll tell you what has worked for me what i've experienced that is what i will tell you what i know works is what i'll give to you guys until I come your way again, I'll see you in the next video. Go your farm. We send farms. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.